the the issue there is uh, I don't think we had resolution on identifying what are the um, factors right the environmental factors to to be able to say hey when how do we make the decision to go from one threat level to the next or also if if things start going really bad what is the decision criteria you go from one level and actually making it more strict or stringent. Uh, what, what I was trying to stress, uh, as all of you that were there know, you know, at some point we need to accept risk and that uh, we've got to accept the fact that people will become infected and we need to try to push it to the threshold of what our healthcare system can handle um, without uh, exceeding, you know, primarily the ICU and the, uh, the ventilator capacity. Because if, if we go too lenient on, um, on those environmental factors, I feel, and I, I think most of the people feel that we'll immediately relax policies and then, and then close up again and not allowing the economy to, <clears throat> to recover. Uh, the other concern that I mentioned to the group was that if we let the economy go the way it's going, you know, there'll be significant, I feel significant on civil unrest that could lead to, you know, civil disobedience and worst case, civil disturbance and rioting. So I, I'm hoping that uh, we can get this um, friction point between basically, I would say the vast majority and what the Department of Health is seeing as what should be the the levels of infection, um, how, how is the, the virus spreading and then when do we, we make the decision to go from one threat level to the next? Are there any questions? Hey, Mr. Please. Speaker, this is Ray Vera. Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah, please. Um, <clears throat> hey, General Har, I, I think your, your points are spot on. And I guess my question is, um, how can we help um, escalate the, uh, um, the pace of some decisions and direction on this? Because I, I think you're right, uh, you know, I. I think I can speak from a public health standpoint when, when I say we, we understand the risk, we understand the capacities of, of the ICU beds and the ventilators, um, but I actually think that we've crossed the tipping point where the risk is much greater on the long-term impact of our community if we don't begin to uh, roll out a detailed plan in pretty short order that not only has the different phases of escalation of reopening the community, but also some tentative timelines in which we intend to do so. And uh, I think you're right. I think there's great risk from a, um, a, a true impact on the economy, but also from um, the unrest in the community if they don't, if we don't start seeing some uh, pretty uh, proactive decisions being made in short order. So how can we help move that along? Uh, I'll defer to the, the speaker and uh, primarily, you know, Peter Hull. I, I think maybe a letter from this committee to the governor and Department of Health may help, right? If, if we get all of, maybe even have all of your signatures on there to, to try to say, hey, this is a um, consensus amongst the com committee. And we, we feel strongly that we need to uh, move forward with a decision and then try to open this economy up. That may be helpful. I, I thought we'd get to it Saturday. Uh, speaker, I'm sorry. I was kind of disappointed that we, we didn't walk out of there with a decision basically over one slide that, that I thought could have been uh, easy to solve. 